Hello, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here with an unboxing from US Invertebrate LLC. I followed them on Instagram and they also have a website. In addition to putting the information here, I will also have links directly in the description. So you can check out the website and the Instagram page. Got a lot of cool stuff relating to invertebrates, as you might imagine. Oh, been really excited to see what's in here. I am aware of at least one of the things that's in here, and we've we've talked about possibilities of what else could be in here. I'm really excited. So apparently they have a a brick and mortar store as well in California here, but uh, you can go to US Invertebrate LLC and you can order things online and so on. It's very well packed here. Oh, sweet. This box was heavy enough. I knew it just wasn't just live stock, although I did receive live um, stock in here as well. Let's let's look at first at these uh, supplies that we see here. So decaying white wood. Oh, that looks really nice. Millipedes, isopods, pill millipedes, beetles, any wood consumer. Nice supply of that. That will go to very good use with my isopods, millipedes, beetles, and so on. Very good. Thank you for sending that. So I apologize for the airplane. Not much I can do about that. But uh, I just wanted to point out they did send some of these materials uh, complimentary. I just kind of get the word out there. So here is um, some ISO pods. And this is kind of a pun because these are magnolia pods. And if you keep isopods, you may know that these are great uh, sources of organic material as hides, but they'll also gradually decompose and be eaten by the isopods as well. Uh, really good for monkey because they have very small hiding spots, so they make great hides for small isopods and monkey, things like that. So check that out. Let's get a close look at some of that wood. You can see I can press my, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can rip bits off of it with my, my fingernails pretty easily. So it's decaying uh, just the right level for things like millipedes and isopods to munch on. So that will be awesome. And here's one of my favorite supplemental foods to provide to isopods, bee pollen. They seem to really like this. It's a great source of nutrients. It's got antioxidants in it. It's got proteins. I think depending on the type of uh, pollen, it can be up to 30-ish, 35% protein. It's got some important lipids in it, so it's great. Smells great too, and uh, isopods really seem attracted to it. We'll munch that down. I also give it to my beetles and things like that as well. And here, some enhanced isopod substrate. So this is one of the uh, really good mixes that, like it says here, it has micronutrients such as calcium and minerals in it. Appreciate the warning. You can freeze for 24 hours to safeguard against fungus gnats. And really nutritious stuff. can use this with um, isopods that are especially, you know, all isopods appreciate a good substrate, but some are more substrate eaters than others, like the Cubaris and so on, uh, can really, really benefit from an excellent substrate like that. Ooh. And some flake soil enhanced millipede and beetle substrate. Excellent. So, as I have uh, heard from other creators of flake soil, straight flake soil, although flake soil is an excellent, excellent additive to substrates like this, you notice it's flake soil and hence it's not just straight flake soil, it's got leaves, leaf litter and so on in here. You want it uh, to be mixed in with other things and that seems to be what's happening here as well. This looks like this will be excellent 
and I have plenty of millipedes that could benefit from this as well. I might put this in with some of my ivories, with my Spirostrepta species one, and so on. Excellent. Now, before we unbox the living uh, portions of this order, I want to thank my patrons. Your contributions make my channel possible. I couldn't do what I do without your help. I really appreciate your support, and I really enjoy the opportunity that Patreon provides to communicate directly with you and to get your input into live streams through your questions and comments. And the more Patreon supporters there are, the more a little goes a long way. If you'd like to help support AquariumX Pets for as little as one US dollar per month, please click the link at the end of the video or in the description. And now, without further ado, let's unbox the live portion of the order. Here we've got a heat pack, a little residual warmth in there. And this looks like a phase 22 pack. Ooh, with, it's a triptych um, phase 22 pack. That's cool. I don't know if I've seen a triptych one before. Let's dig in here. Just being really careful because I'm not sure what size the deli cups are in here. It looks like there's several different uh, spots. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I dropped something. Oh, excellent. Some desert beetles, cryptoglossus, like the rough uh, death feigning beetle is from that genus. Edrodes are the dune buggies, which I love. And Asbolus is the genus to which blue death feigning beetles and smooth death feigning beetles uh, belong. So that's excellent. Take a look at what we've got here. Oh, it even came with some beetle jelly. Oh, so cool. So this looks like Asbolus lavis right here. And there's an Asbolus varicosis, the blue death feigning beetle. And these, these are two Asbolus lavis, these really, <laughs> really active ones. Woo, they're going to town. Awesome. I really like uh, all the tenebrionids, all the desert tenebrionids, whether that is Boas, Cryptoglossus, Iliotes, Edrodes, all of them. So let's put these into my communal beetle enclosure. All of these beetles, to my knowledge, are capable of tonic immobility when disturbed. In other words, feigning death. And some of them are doing just that. And we'll see what we get. We can watch them wake up, maybe. Some of them will probably decline to uh, feign death, and others will. As you can see, others are already feigning death quite admirably. And I believe it was Peter at Bugs in Cyberspace who pointed out that... Uh, some of these will twitch the, I think it's the Asbolus labus that will twitch their legs in a very comical manner when they are feigning death. So I think we might get to see some of that, depending on which individuals decide to perform for us. Here's the blue death feigning beetle to add to my uh, breeding group. From what I understand, uh, Sean at US Invertebrate LLC told me he's got F2s. In other words, uh, second generation captive bred blue death fanny bills, which is totally awesome. Fantastic. And next, this is Orthoporus ornatus. Beautiful desert millipedes. We'll look at the colors on those. They're very similar to the colors on the uh, bumblebee millipedes, Anadenobolus manilicornis, but much, much larger and very, very beautiful. 
hard to beat coloration like that. And you can see there are at least two in here. Uh, let's get these into an enclosure as well. I just used some of the uh, decaying hardwood and some of the substrate and some of other substrate mixes to put this home together for the Orthoporus ornatus. They like a lot more ventilation than uh, a lot of millipedes do, so I used some of the vents from the bug hub in this Isoviva enclosure. Uh, Isoviva I don't think is making the enclosures anymore, but uh, these work well for Orthoporus, which can escape, as I learned, to my horror and chagrin. They can escape from a six quart sterilite tub quite easily, unlike a lot of millipedes that just seem to stay put. These do not in such a setup. So I'm going to let these crawl out into their new home. All right, been interrupted by airplanes that keep coming by, but I'm really excited about this one. I'm not unboxing a Russ, I'm unboxing a velvet spider, also known as a ladybird spider. Erisus walkeneri, a fantastic species. If you've seen videos on the tarantula collective or tarantula cat, this is not a tarantula. It's a really cool true spider, also known as a ladybird spider, if I haven't said that already. Very, very fantastic. The males have extremely bright colorations when mature. The females not quite as bright. Some are pretty uh, dull and others have some color to them. And with Erisus walkeneri, you never really know what the females exactly what you're going to get color wise. Won't be the same as the males. I set this up a couple of months ago in preparation for this spider. I actually posted it on Instagram and somebody guessed what it was, which was pretty cool. At any rate, this is the enclosure a spider is going to go into. So let's uh, put it in its new home. So the velvet spider is going to go into this tarantula cribs sling crib. This was sent to me by tarantula cribs some time ago, and I've used it to display pseudoscorpions and things like that. But I've never housed a spider in it yet. This is, I'm really excited to be able to do that. And I love these, these locking uh, magnetic lids. So here we go. Never have uh, rehoused a velvet spider before. There we go. You can see the little one in there, actually bigger than I expected it to be. This is not the adult size, but it's a little big, bigger than I expected it. That's not a complaint. That's awesome. They live a fairly long time. Like I was saying, the, uh, the little ones can take a few years, like three years to grow up from what I understand. And the adults, uh, the, the mature males don't live very long as you might expect with a spider. Let's see if I can reach down there and grab onto the paper towel and just kind of pull the whole business out. I don't know if I can do that or not. Oh. Probably not without disturbing the web a little bit. But that probably can't be helped. Anyway, the females can live for a number of years after they become mature, which is awesome. The only thing that I don't like about jumping spiders is that they don't live very long. Um, once they uh, become mature, and just don't live very long at all anyway. You might get a couple of years of lifespan if you're lucky. But with uh, these velvet spiders, they can live quite a long time. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, Reptiliatus is another, uh, another keeper of this species. So I don't think I want to uh, include all of this paper toweling in the enclosure, so I'm gonna See if I can carefully and gently sort of coax the spider out. It doesn't seem too excited about the prospect of leaving its little web, which I can't blame it for that. But look at that beautiful little spider. So cool. You can see the little spots on its abdomen. Those, those little spots um, are in the male, they show up a lot in because the abdomen becomes 
basically bright orange, bright red, that kind of stuff. And depending on the species, sometimes the females have color and sometimes they don't. There she is. Let's see if we can get a close up on that little beauty. Right there. Look at her. Or, or him. I don't know. With an abdomen that big, I'm kind of thinking maybe it is a female. But not entirely sure. But like I said, a little bigger than I expected, but that's not a bad thing at all. So if we can carefully guide her into the new enclosure. Just very, very gently try to coax her in. You want to go into your new tarantula crib, huh? Sorry, the lighting's not ideal right here, but I'm going to see what I can come up with. And there she goes. She's in her new enclosure. So one this big can probably take not only Drosophila fruit flies, but could take crickets and uh, small mealworms and things like that. So that's awesome. Can't wait for her nor for him. Can't wait for this velvet spider to web up this enclosure. So exciting. I want to thank uh, US Invertebrate LLC for sending this. And for those of you, Sean and the others, uh, I communicated with in the process of getting this all set up. Thank you so much. And if you haven't checked out US Invertebrate LLC, you can do so on Instagram and on their website. Thank you so much for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets of all different types. Please feel free to share, like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon and choose notifications all so you don't miss my next video.